We just get us that a new Bonitos in heaven. I am Guda Pastorello. And I'm Alice Amaral. And we'll be talking about Brazilian news in the United States. Yep. News about Brazil and about Brazilians in the whole world. Anything you want to know about Brazil and Brazilians, we're going to be talking it here on this show. Hook you up with yep. all the questions you have. And you can always look, um, tell us your ideas or suggestions because we are studying. Yep. So First we're show, open for ideas. Send us our email at videosbonitos at gmail.com. So the first news is yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. It was Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Uh, a very, very important holiday in Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. I heard that San Diego was packed last night. San Diego was packed. They were we making had a little taco jokes. Taco party at my friend's house. Everybody celebrated Mexican style yesterday, I guess. Mm -hmm. But for those who don't know, what Cinco de Mayo means? It's a regional holiday in Mexico. Um, it celebrates the Mexican armies, um, the victory over the French forces. Really? In 1862. So what is this? Is it kind of Independence Day for Mexico or no? Is kind it? Of, kind of. Okay. They won over That's France. That's good enough. So. All right. Because Cinco means five, so, you know, May 5, Cinco de Mayo. I have a friend of mine who's like, I know what Cinco means. Cinco. All right. Talking about Brazil, mm -hmm. Brad Pitt is in Brazil. Right. I don't know if he's shooting a movie, or I think he just tested it out, mm -hmm. seeing different places. He has been in Bonito, in uh, Mato Grosso. He's in the middle been of Brazil. All over. And now he's going to Pantanal, Pantanal, up near Amazon. Close to Amazon. To check it out some, you know, Very spots. Nice. It's not the first time he's in Brazil. He's yeah. been there before many yeah. times. I heard they close a big river so he can go by himself and check it out. Nobody will bother him. I don't know if the Indians would know if he's famous or not. Probably not. Depends on how we don't even have TV. All right, but that's good. That's good to know that you know people wants to shoot movies in Brazil. Hopefully they do something good, because usually movies in Brazil is only about violence and oh, gangs and stuff like that. Usually they do. Hopefully they'll they bring the good side of Brazil and you know to protect to the people. The rainforests and stuff. Talking about rainforests, Pelé. I hope you guys all know Pelé. The very Probably famous soccer player. The most famous Middle soccer famous. player. Yep. Yeah. Uh, was invited to be in a TV commercial with Prince Charles. Prince Charles. To try to help save all the rainforests in the whole world, I guess. Not only Amazon. And all kinds of other different celebrities was there too. So that was a good thing. So Pelé is always part of these things. Right? Talking about something different. Uh, was it yesterday? No. I think this, this month was the first time ever a lady here in USA got a face transplant. That's really nice. I saw a the whole picture. Whole face Whole face. It was, it was very nice. Her face doesn't look that perfect yet. It's not done yet. But, but uh, it's kind of like all sagged down. Mm -hmm. But she was really happy because she said in the last three years, this is the first time she could eat pizza. I guess they oh reconfigurated her whole mouth and stuff. But she looked good now. Progress. So that's yep. a good thing to know. Very good. And the actor, Hug Jackman, the new Wolverine. Wolverine. The, not the new, right? The Wolverine mm -hmm. from the X-Men, the new movie. Is in Brazil as well. Is in Brazil, visiting all the soccer teams. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But he has been to Corinthians, the Sao Paulo team that was champion this last weekend. And they give him a t-shirt that says Wolverine in the back. I gotta say this though. He said that the Brazilian woman song, the most beautiful in the whole world. He just said he's been in Rio, right? Yeah. He's so been he, he's been in Sao Paulo, I think, three days ago. And then today, he's been in Flamengo in Rio. So he probably saw a lot of beautiful mm, girls yeah, in Rio. Yeah, he's been to different um, soccer teams. Yeah. He's promoting the, the movie in Brazil and is. I, I think it's already there, right? It's showing the move in the theater there. Oh yeah. It says that it's first. I guess it's the first movie of the weekend. Usually, movies that comes out here, it takes a while to get there at at the theaters. Yeah, it's always a but little late. But nowadays, whole, I think it's getting faster. I guess, right? Because mm -hmm. so, the movie just came out here a week ago, and it's already there. So that's a good thing. Talking about cars, um, the cheapest car in the world. Right, um, they already have two hundred thousand people on the waiting on list. On the list, waiting list. 
It's made in India, 2,000 bucks for a car. That's the cheapest, cheapest ever. Cheapest car, a brand new car, $2,000. The name of the company is Tata, and the car <laughs> is called Nano. So Tata Nano. Tata Nano. Look around. I don't know if it's already coming here to America. I didn't hear anything. It just says Not that I know it was in India. And it looks really small. You just like the smart car, or what is it? Like? Yeah. But it's cheaper. The smart car is not cheap. And it's only like, it's, it's really like very weak little car, like you know. Mm -hmm. But it's good, I guess. But um, okay, another funny story in Freiburg, Freiburg, in Switzerland, a girl found a condom in her French fry. Isn't that funny? Yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> absurd. That's crazy. And it wasn't a fast food restaurant. They didn't want to say. But uh, let's say you go to McDonald's <laughs> and you order some fries and or Burger King, whatever it is. Yep. And, and you found a condom in it. Yep. <laughs> it was an open package. That was it was worst. an open package. Oh my and god. And police are investigating, trying to see if the condom has if been it has used been used or not. Or not. So it is a weird thing. We'll find out. We'll, we'll see. Find it we'll out let you know. Afterwards, in London. A huge box of popcorn weighing a ton. It's estimated fifteen thousand dollars worth of popcorn. Wow. Was dropped in the middle of a park. Try to incentivate people to go to movies. And a hundred lucky people was allowed to go in and eat it. I guess it's it's a lot of popcorn for a hundred people. I love popcorn. I just I guess. And it's but it's a waste of you know. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of money and, and a lot of mess to clean. To clean yeah. Oh well. So, what else do we got? All right, we talking about Cinco de Mayo. We forgot to mention how there was a march in Boston it just is? yes um, the f the first of May. Yeah. Primero de Mayo. It's a day that is celebrated all around the world. The oh. day of the Workers. It's like Labor Day Labor here, Day. but everywhere else but in the U U.S. So all the immigrants were there in the march to, um, yeah. for the immigrants itself, because they're, they're, we need some action. So because yeah, I guess it's, it's holiday and everywhere else in here it wasn't holiday, but so a lot of people went to the streets and asking for something. I don't know. Just yeah, let's celebrate. It's no work, but it wasn't that big mm -hmm. like the last years. So I guess people. You don't want to take the day off, <laughs> but it's a good, good intention. And uh, talk about parties. Last Ooh. Sunday, right? There was a nice concert in a Boston. Big reggae concert. Brazilian reggae. In Revere. In Revere. It's a band called Nati Roots, mm -hmm. right? And we've been there, and it was a really, we had a good time. It was awesome. Very good. And I think it was around what 800 people there. A lot of people. I think the maximum yeah, is like a thousand something. And so it was really good. It's probably 800 people. So it was really good. There was also on Saturday um, the, the Paranaminas the um, country, country band. night. Yeah. But the Puff Bellies here. Yeah, we Puff we didn't go. No, Sorry. But I heard it was good. I, I heard it was really yeah. good. For who likes country music? For, yeah, for whoever likes country. Yep. So the news for next week. This, so you guys, just so you know, next week. Saturday, Saturday, there's going to be a big Brazilian party Puff at Puffer Bellies, um, celebrating birthdays Is of 12, 12, 12 pe people. Different yeah. people that make birthdays around this time of year. The same weekend. And Alice. Included. I'm one of those people. <laughs> VIP. It's going to be a lot of pagode, right? A no, there's going to be what? different types of music. All kinds Pop, pagode, DJ. samba. So everyone is invited. Mm -hmm. If you need some VIP tickets. Also on Sunday, there's going to be a really nice concert on, on Revere, same Again. place uh, as last Sunday. Club Lido. Yeah, and the name of the band is Jota Quest. Yeah, like J, J Quest. J Quest. Like Jota mm -hmm. Quest. A very famous band in Brazil. So check that out. Go on uh, you know, YouTube and mm -hmm. listen to the songs if you like it. You can buy tickets here in the Cape. A lot of people are selling it. And you can, you can buy if you want more product. information, you can send an email. Yeah, and you can probably buy a Ticketmaster too. Ticketmaster is selling, really but nice it's more expensive at Ticketmaster. Yeah, if you get it straight from people here, it's cheaper. You don't have to pay the shipping fees. Yep. But and it's a good pop rock band. Very it's famous. Really famous. Mm -hmm, very good. So, so if you like Brazilian music, Brazilian pop rock, just yep. if you want to learn some Portuguese, should come. Yeah. You can get meet the some Brazilian, Brazilian channel. people. <laughs> yeah, Brazilian channel global. At Concast, you pay 20, ball, 20 bucks extra, and you can watch Brazilian channels and learn Portuguese. Or you can go to Justin TV 
can watch for free, <laughs> like we do. All right, so that's it for now. This is Benito in Heaven. We'll be See back. See you next time. Thank See you, you later. Bye.